So now let's talk about menus. So we've already seen some examples of menus and basically what a menu is, is it's giving the user options. So let's look at, like let's say we have a example menu here. And so let's say that the user runs this program and it comes up with this menu that's add a name to a list, remove a name from a list, change a name in the list, print the list, or quit the program. So we're basically giving the user control over what the program is going to do or what part of the program is going to run by selecting something from this menu. So in other words, if they select one, this program is only going to run the code that will add a name to a list. If they select three, it's only going to run the part of the program that will change a name in the list. And then it's also giving them the option to um, quit the program. So whenever you give the user a menu, giving them the option to quit is often a, a, good, um, a good thing to do. And so menus can be implemented a couple of ways. They, they can be implemented with if, else if statements, and which we're going to talk about today. They can also be implemented with switch statements. So we have this example program, and let's just look at what this program says it does. So notice how it has a comment at the top that tells us what it does. So this constant double right here that says adult is e equals 40, senior 30, child 20, says these are the constants for membership rates. So these are the prices for the membership rates for the adult, senior, or child. And then we have constants for the menu choices. And so we have uh, adult choice is equal to one, child choice is equal to, equals two, senior choice equals three, and then we have a quit choice that equals four. And we can call these anything we want, like we could have had those in a different order, or we could have it A, B, C, D. So whatever we choose is um, pretty arbitrary, but um, right here, they're um, saying one for adult choice, two child choice, three senior choice, and quit. So now we're going to display the menu to the user, and we're telling the user what the menu is. So it's a health club membership menu. And then we have one is standard adult membership, two child membership, and so on. And then we tell the user, enter your choice. Um, I might have wanted to specify to the user to enter one through four for their choice, but um, just so it's really clear that what they need to enter. So then we're going to get the choice that they enter and store it to this variable choice. And then we're going to go down to our if else if statement. And let's say so if the, let's say they entered one for their choice. So, one is the adult choice, so that means that if, we, if choice is equal to adult choice, so I'm right here, um, if they entered one, that's going to be true because adult choice is one. And so then what we're going to do is ask them how many months because we need to know. So we know what the rate is, so these rates are per month. So we need, to, we need to know how many months to tell them the total rate. So we have how many months, we're going to get the months from them, then we multiply the months by the rate, and then we're going to see out the total charges are, and we're going to tell the user how much it is for that. For, for their, we're going to tell them what their total rate is. Um, so let's go on, so else if, if they had have entered two, which was child choice, then this um, choice is equal to child choice would be true. And then it's going to calculate and display the, the price for the child choice. Um, else if we have senior choice, so if they have entered three, then it's going to go to this, um, it's going to execute this part of the code. It's going to calculate the senior rate and um, display that to the user. We also have else if um, quit choice, and so this is just going to display program ending, and the program's going to end after that. Else, so we have a trailing else in this statement, and so remember the trailing else is optional, but it's good to include. So in this trailing else statement, we say the valid choices are one through four, 
run the program again and select one of those. So basically we're telling the user they didn't enter valid input and they need to rerun the program and enter either uh, in, enter one through four.